Valerie Tan. I'm Chen Yiyin. I'm Cai Chen Wei. I'm Willer Chuo. And this is Chinoy TV, TV Plus. Plus. We have another medical topic to be discussed by the top caliber doctors from Manila Doctors Hospital here on Chinoy Wellness. In the time of your life, you need a medical hospital. And Manila Doctors Hospital is the most important medical hospital. Day-to-day -day activities ng emergency department mostly involve medical cases. Sa atin, yung mga most life-threatening, of course, yung mga heart attack and brain attack no, or stroke. No? These are common emergencies that are brought to the emergency department. Manila Doctors Hospital yo ika puman si Juanman Yiji Jinji Zhuang Kuang de Bing Ren. Dui yu ge zhong ge yang de an lie, fei chang shou si. Our preparedness starts with looking at possibilities. No? What are the disasters that can happen in our immediate vicinities or in the immediate area in Metro Manila? And we prepare for that. We have always been involved in uh, earthquake drills, mass casualty drills, and citywide drills. No? What we train here specifically with the committee is that first thing that one should remember is not to panic. Because if you panic, you forget what to focus on. What to focus on is what you have been trained for. That's why we have a lot of drills because it is not 100% that during an actual earthquake that one will respond in accordance to the what is written in the drill. The difference is if you keep practicing it and it is ano pumasok na siya sa system mo. Pag nagkaroon ng ng actual na disaster earthquake, you will know what to do step by step to be prepared for your own in case of your to go kit, no? I know it's something that you see with your school children that they have their own to-go kit, and their bags, or they carry it around in school. No, but here we are advocating that each employee should have their own to-go kit. It is something that they do not bring home; they leave it in their desk. No, so that in the event of any disaster and you are ordered to evacuate, they will just pull it out of their desk and bring it outside. Keep practicing. Do drills, do different scenarios. For the past four or five years, we have changed it up, you know, the type of drills we have done in the hospital. We have tried multiple chemical exposure drills. We have tried earthquake drills with tsunami. You know, where do we go if there's a tsunami from Manila Bay? We have tried multiple gunshot patients, multiple VA patients. You, know. you must have a recovery program. That means if everything is zero, and the whole hospital or everything is zero, what is your contingency plan? Where will you put up operations? Where will you get everything that you should have been stored off-site and function as another hospital? BTPA的医院, Manila Doctors Hospital, Bao正本医院的医生以及医护人员都有受过精锐的培训。相信所有紧急的病例都可以被妥善的处理。we have a greater deal of awareness among our staff. If you ask a staff member about the incident command system and what do we do during drills, they have a general idea. Even down to the administrative staff because these are the people that should know basically what your command system is. Manila是最好的医疗护理处，相信Manila的Doctors的首要目的是救活病人。Manila is very prone for, to disasters. That's why we always look into what will happen if we are isolated. For example, there's flood in Carla when you can function. So we look into how long the hospital will survive without outside help. That's the baseline of our preparation. How to keep the hospital running for at least 72 hours uh, without outside help. <music> 